Hello YouTube, this is Scarecrow Kaiser. I'm going to be doing a three-part uh, series, I guess you could call it. Uh, each being, uh, well, the idea is I'm going to go through the World Championship match of English, Henry versus Smith. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to do it uh, game by game, one episode for each game. I'm going to go through it and comment on things find interesting or want to talk about or get things that are debatable or some misplays or what were good plays um <clears throat> so yeah um not doing this to pick on anyone or anything uh I'll be doing what I if I see like a good play I'll be commenting on it being good or whether I see it and think it's not such a great play and discuss it so <clears throat> that's going to be the point here so Alright, starting with the first game, uh, we had Henry going first, and he went first. He rode his uh, Listener Truth Din Drain past, didn't have a grade 3 in hand, but he's got a few turns to make up for it. Smith drew, he was also not super great off, because he had, didn't have the ride chain, but, oh no, I don't have the ride chain. He rides G Gareth, and he called a rear guard Gareth. He... Goes a little bit aggressive right off the bat here. Um, by calling both Gareth's start attack with the Vanguard, like, right away with multiple attacks, I'm not quite sure. It is kind of a debatable thing. Is it the right choice to open up aggressive against your opponent like this? Henry could use the utilize the two damage on his turn to write a Vivian or call two Vivians and give himself the chance to get free cards and like the uh and even if like he was the black and if like the Vanguard Vivian swung he probably couldn't guard it that would hit call a booster or hit a trigger and then the second one would be blockable and open Henry up to getting like two free cards not to mention it put his 8k booster vulnerable so, it's a debatable thing, though. But he swung, dealt two damage, and it got back to Henry's turn. Henry rode Lopier Shooter. Then he called Nemu and Gareth to one column, making a 15 row column that can call. And he also called an E main line. Then he had his, uh, he started his battle phase by having E main line attack the rear guard Gareth. I don't really agree with this. It could have been a better move to attack with the Vanguard and Nemu first. Uh, if the Vanguard had a trigger, it could give the power of the Nemu to make the Nemu more powerful, or it maybe that's what I would do. Or he could have at least given it to the rear guard Lion. But I would probably give it to the Nemu and then have the Nemu attack the Vanguard. Because if that was allowed to hit, he could call a card from the top of the deck. It could probably be a grade 1 to support the Lion and make the Lion harder to block. He chose, and even if, like, he chose to, no matter in what situation, if he didn't attack with Lion first, it couldn't really backfire because Smith could, even if Smith, Smith hit a trigger, no matter what, there's two targets viable for the Lion to attack, so no matter what, the Lion would have had an attack target. So, that is something to point out about that turn by Henry. <clears throat> But he swings with the Lion, kills the Gareth, he swings with his Vanguard, drive checks a Vivian, Smith takes the damage, then he attacks with his Nemu column for 15. Um, Smith chooses to guard this attack um, to prevent him from being able to call a card from the top of the deck. This, I think, is a debatable issue um, because at this point, Whatever Nemu could do by calling a card, yes, it is a free card, but it's not relevant to this turn. If it was a booster or a grade 2 or anything, it wouldn't be relevant because everyone else in the front row is attacked. There's nothing to boost. And there'd be no room to call a card in the front row and have it attack. And even if the Nemu was to call a Pelinor, Smith is still on grade 1, so he couldn't superior ride the Pelinor. So... And if he chose not to do it, he could keep more shield in hand for later against things that were relevant. Um, by choosing to block the attack, he 
that means when it got back to Smith's turn, Henry would be at 2 and Smith would be at 1. So if Smith was to hit heal triggers, he couldn't use them because he's got less damage, so Henry would effectively like be heal blocking him by Smith's own choice by trying to block the attack. Although you can argue that blocking the attack is still a good move because it's an easy uh, block early game. You're making sure you're not taking that damage. It's a debatable issue, but there's obviously a very strong side for it. It probably wouldn't. It could have been a good move to not let the, uh, to let the attack hit since it wasn't really relevant to the turn. <clears throat> but he blocks it, and then it gets back to his turn. Smith rides Bowmans, and he calls two rear guard Bowmans. So he's starting to retaliate. Uh, he chooses to start his battle phase by having one of the rear guard Bowmans attack the lion first. You could art debate this about whether it's better to have the vanguard attack first or not, but the hit triggers and which if you had had the vanguard attack first, the lion could have intercepted, making it 19 versus 14. So Smith could have still done a trigger to pass. Um, I probably would have attacked with the vanguard first, I guess. That way, if I hit a trigger, I could give the power to a rear guard, and then deal with the lion then. But it's a debatable issue and not really that big of an issue. The Bowman's hits and kills the lion. And then Smith swings with his vanguard for 14. It is allowed to hit. He drive checks the Duke. Damage checks Garmore, which is bad for Henry since he's misriding. He attaches the third Bowman's against the vanguard. And Henry lets it hit since he just damage checked a grade 3. It's unlikely that there's another grade 3 on top of his deck. So, plus he's going to allow himself to uh, maybe hit a trigger, like a draw trigger to help himself out. But it gets back to Henry. Uh, he misrides. He doesn't have his grade 3. He calls a Vivian to a column by itself. Then he attacks with his... Uh, Vanguard first for 14 with the Spring Breeze against Bowman's Smith 10 guards, which is very much the right choice to do because a 10 guard is a no pass since it's 14 versus 10, making it 20 with the shield, so it's no pass. And that's cutting off the chances of the Spring Breeze hitting the Pelinor there, so that was very much the right play to make. And Henry Drive checks um, a uh, Gareth, so. It's been a while since he hit a trigger or anything, so it'd be a high chance of there being a trigger on top of his deck. Next, he attacks with his uh, Nemu column for 15, which is the right call since he needs it to either call a booster or get lucky and call that Pelinor. Smith chooses not to guard it, which unfortunately it ends up being the Pelinor and it gets superior road. Uh, you could try and argue Smith sort of try to block that Nemu. I wouldn't agree. Uh, what were the chances of the top card of the deck? Not the top three. It had to be in this situation. The top card of the deck being Pelinor. Um, very, very low odds. Uh, Henry was just that lucky that it was. <laughs> so he, in that moment, catches up from his misride and actually takes the lead very much so by getting a, another attack in. And then off of that Pelinor's attack, he hits a crit, gives it to the Pelinor, so it deals two damage, putting Smith at four, and then he hits a draw trigger, and both powers went to that rear guard, Vivian making her 19 now. Smith's first damage check was a heal, he gave it to the vanguard, his second check was not one. He chooses to utilize her 19 against her rear guard, so it was a 10 guard instead of a 5 guard for the vanguard, which he had the other kind of intercepted. So one of the Bowmans died. Then go back to Smith. He rides his duke, he calls a destroyer, <clears throat> and then he calls a Vivian. Um, this is, uh, what he does from here is, this is a very crucial moment, because he's fallen very behind due to that Pelinor, and he's got, like, not really, he doesn't have a hand left, because he drops everything. He, he drops that Vivian, the destroyer, and... He's getting ready to perform his limit break. Um, this is where I kind of disagree with what he chooses to do here. 
he 